Yeah, my name is Pam Condon. I'm an Inawonga woman from the Pilbara in Western Australia. I basically want to do a story about my elders' lives, like my mum and my uncle, because they haven't had a chance to tell their story before, and I'd like to record them now. I'd like to represent Inawonga, like my old people, because they're Inawonga. Their country, like where they were born and what their lives were like when they were growing up, and any corroborates and stories that they might have learned when they were children. That goes into that little hole, just stabilises it. So that's your handle here. Well, I, first of all, I want them to have like a bit of empathy and understanding towards our culture, and maybe remember the elders. It's really gorgeous. Yeah. And if you want to show it. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's you there. You can see yourself? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice shot. Yeah. And just checking the audio. Yes. Yeah. You want to say something, Mother? Awesome. Yes. Yeah. How are you going today? You know, tell me some story about your life? I'm going to go and close the, <laughs> <laughs> I'll close the banging door. Yeah. Um, it's really loud, eh? The fridge is quite loud. Yeah, I can hear the humming of the fridge. Would it be okay to turn it off for a while we're filming? Can we turn the fridge off for a little while? <laughs> That's rather yeah. not very noisy yeah. too, but you can hear them on the back. Yeah. And, well, you could ask, can yeah. they go and chat somewhere else? <laughs> oh, that's great. But then, you know, because you're only going to do this once, maybe. Yeah. So you want to make sure you do it well. Yeah. Tell me, Annie. You remember what it was like when you were in Rockley as a kid? Yeah. That's important. Like, before, before they'd go on forever, you know, and like, it's up to us young people to remember them and to carry it on. The Inawonga language itself, like, it's, it's a dying language. Like, it's probably only my mum and my uncles that speak it now or remember a few, a bit of it. It's up to us young people to remember them and to carry it on. There are still Aboriginal people practicing their culture today. I feel that it's important to me personally because it involves my old people and their stories need to be told now because they're not getting any younger and their age is a factor and I'm afraid if I don't do it now, like, it's going to be lost. Move it like that. And looks like you've got the lens cap closed. So we're <laughs> it gonna, does too. Yeah. Just stepping through all the things so that Pam is yeah. feeling Confident. That's a lovely shot. Straighten it up a bit. It would be that one there. Yeah, he's recording me. I'm recording you and he's recording me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So, well, I, yeah. I really want to keep it as a record for our family history, but I also wanted like, to go to places like the Language Centre and other mm -hmm. Aboriginal organisations, even the schools, Beautiful. so they can get a bit of insight into um, Inawonga culture and heritage while we've still got a piece of it left. Just testing and making sure that everything's right. We can start t talking now. Um, you want to tell us your name and where you're from? Yeah, I'd just like to thank Gumala and Jenny and Carl for giving us the opportunity to do this. You know, it's something like that needs to be done and I've always wanted to do a story about my elders, so yeah, thanks.